All right, guys, Dave here with the Honda Elite 110, replacing the ignition assembly. All right, and see my previous video on how to remove this hood, but in a nutshell, you remove every Phillips head screw in both direction, from this way, this way, even underneath, going from down here. Every Phillips head screw around here that you can see, including these two guys here, once the hood comes off, because you're going to need some room to push this plastic back. So you can get your hand back there. Uh, also disconnect the main wiring harness down here as well. It's just, you know, it's very tight. You can also uh, remove this relay here, just so you can have some more hand room, if you know what I'm saying. Um, but as far as the... I mean, the only thing that's sort of tricky is the seat release mechanism. Let's take a closer look at that. Okay. Oh, and here's the harness for the ignition key also that goes into this little black piece in the back. Previous owner hacked into this one because they lost the key, of course which is kind of common. If you lose the key to this, you're not going to be able to open this up right here. And if that's the case, then you're not getting into this vehicle. So they drilled into it and totally hacked it and all that, you know, so whatever. We're just going to put an OEM setup back on it. But if you can see, all right, here's the cable for the seat release mechanism. Okay, the yellow plastic part. The yellow plastic part goes in to the entry point. Then the cable itself goes right behind it here. This is the actual lever that's attached to the key mechanism. Uh, it's all plastic tabs to get this black housing off of it, you know, so there's no tools necessary just to remove this housing. So you can, you know, so you can see everything and get to everything and all that if you see everything like that. Not that difficult. Uh, the only things that you might have to think about because the, the existing bolts that were holding all this in place are basically impossible to remove without destroying them. So you'll need to get some similar bolts. Let me see what size they are real quick. Okay, now the size of the bolt you're going to need to secure this big booger here is a 6 millimeter diameter by 1.0 thread pitch. So it's a pretty common size, for, especially for motorcycles and motocross bikes and things. But you can get it at the hardware store also, 6 by 1.0. And they'll, they'll secure these guys right in here. All right, and you'll see, got bolt there and bolt there. Seat release cable comes in there. Cable in attaches there. And then, of course, the actual lock, safety lock mechanism will go here facing this way. And it has to attach behind this back here. Now, it might be hard to see, but yeah, the, the uh, lock itself, you'll have to come back here. And it bolts from the back going this way. So it's very difficult to get to, you know, I recommend you remove the relay and everything right here so you can get your hand back behind it. Otherwise, it's very tight and you can turn the handlebars as well to give you better access to that right there. Anyway, there you go. And this black plastic housing is pretty self-explanatory. Just slides over, push it towards the back and then click it in place down at the bottom down here. It'll click in place if it's in correctly. You know, it can only go in one way, really. All right, and then we take the final piece here, pull this back, and just cram it in there, basically. Might take a little, little finagling to get it in there. Then you're gonna have to bolt it from the back. That's the tricky part. Okay, and then set this little gasket right here, like so. And before you start trying to put everything back together, make sure that you've reconnected 
your wiring harness underneath there because it gets blocked by the seat release cable. So just make sure you do that first. All right, you see it there? The wiring right here, it has to slide in and then click in place right near the top. That way you know it's all the way in. Then, you know, refasten everything. And honestly, it's probably easier to go ahead and fasten the main keyhole to this area before you put the, you know, the key assembly and all that back in place. Just, it gives you more room to put your hands back in there and all that. You know what I mean? It's just very cramped in there if you don't do it that way. Okay, you see if you move these relays out of the way, disconnect the main wiring harness, it just gives you a lot more hand space to get in there. All right, you see what I mean back there? If you can reach your hand back behind it and put a short extension, little bitty extension on your quarter inch drive with your eight millimeter, but it's a little teensy, like a one and a half inch extension. That's about the only thing that'll fit back in here so that you can tighten this bolt. Then you can at least rotate it by hand, you know, to get it started and make sure that it's facing correctly out the other end that way, like so. Then you can barely get your ratchet, you know, your little quarter inch ratchet back in there and snug her down. Just be careful because you're likely going to drop something, but it'll usually fall out all the way at the bottom, so don't be too concerned. Anyway, there you go. Now you got the main key, key uh, entry fastened in place. And I'm doing some of this for the first time, so a little bit of trial and error going on. Uh, I'm finding out that you need to keep it kind of hand tight for the time being until you get the, you know, the actual key assembly put back in there. So just keep this bolt kind of hand tight, you know, loosen it a little bit so you can wiggle it and, and get the actual key assembly back in there. All right, and something else that may hinder you trying to put your ratchet back there will be these cables so make sure you pull these cables back you know up to you so that you can get your ratchet and socket back behind there now i've got this loose and wobbly so now i can should be able to fit this in and make sure that this this big uh post goes in right here all right now something to take note of before you button everything back up make sure you test this seat the seat lock mechanism This little guy right here, where the cable goes in, make sure you test it first because if this lever does not pull it out far enough, it's not going to unlock. All you have to do is take you, uh, you know, some needle nose pliers and just pry that little brass looking bar. Just pry it that way, just a tad if necessary. Then you can test it again to make sure that the seat actually unlocks before you put everything back together. And of course, all there is to do is, you know, with the key, of course, you know, first you use this to unlock the whole key area. Just put this in, rotate it. That'll open up the keyhole there, if you can see that. If you can't, I will. Then put the key into the ignition and push it inward. Okay, because you notice seat, if you can't see that seat is not opening right now push it in unlocked bada bing bada boom beautiful so now it looks legit no more hacked looking key set up uh you know i had to order this from overseas actually i don't know if it's honda japan or honda china or whatever it was but it's legit you know it, it everything is correct uh it works properly and all that uh, I'll put a link, you know, I'll see if I can find the link where I got it, but um, But yeah, everything works great You can shut it like that. It's fantastic So do not lose your keys or you will not be able to open that right there That's the whole purpose of this setup and then everything else is pretty self-explanatory uh, Oh, and you may have to change the key lock for the glove box. The glove compartment has a key also But it's very easy to replace you know, it's just you just use a pair of pliers and pull that off right there pull the old key the old lock out put the new one in slide that lock back on bada bing done 
and uh, and then of course the gas cap which is under there if you haven't done that one yet no big deal just replace your gas cap down below and then you know re put your relays and your switches and all that back in uh, reconnect your harness down here this little thing here is what holds the harness in place so you'll sort of bend it back and you know bend it back it keeps it from moving around make sure everything looks snug and tight and everything and then uh, just put the hood back on which reverse what you've done which is very easy you know you just sort of lay it in place make sure it clicks in place and put all the Phillips heads everywhere you can see or they'll be underneath forward backward everywhere uh, and that should do it and then your last two things are these little zip tie buttons they push into a couple little holes here and here and that's it as far as the interior and then of course maybe before you put the lid back on you know make sure make sure she fires up of course make sure everything works high beam low beam <laughs> Thing is working uh, yeah this is a 2010 Honda Elite 110 they only made it in America one year which is pretty cool so it's kind of a rare bike uh, see our other videos on other things we've done to it you know we've done things with the instrument cluster pulling off body panels basic services things like that so look to our channel there'll be a playlist link at the end of this video you'll see in a thumbnail right in the corner and, you know, if any of our videos help you, look for the uh, little thanks link right under the video. You can, you can throw us a donation or whatever. We really appreciate it. Uh, we have all kinds of other videos that you might like. And uh, look for us on eBay, Amazon, Facebook, two YouTube channels. Just Google Horsepower House, and you'll see all kinds of cool stuff. Biker Dave signing off. You'll have a great evening.